Death was like a great cloud. Can you imagine what it's like to have all of your friends die? It was such a blur. It was like the world has ended. How do we remember a tragedy of this magnitude? 8,000 people a day is the toll that AIDS takes in this world. I think the counter to that is an expression of life. What can we do? There was no one central place where all of us could come together. We have an essential responsibility to designate a national memorial to the thousands of Americans who have died of AIDS. The president signed it into law. We had what we wanted. We didn't want to see lots of reminders of death. So it is a healing space. How do we tell the story in a way that'll be meaningful for people? And for me, a lovely garden doesn't do it. The Grove is lacking that disruptive, shocking statement that something awful and horrible happened here. It is hollow ground. It is sacred ground. If that design goes in, I'm going to be the first one to throw myself in front of the bulldozer. We're intentionally being a bit stark in this new landscape. I don't think people will be any more inclined to go and see some charred poles. I think there's a rebellion that is awaiting us if we go further with this project. It doesn't bother me that it's not known by the world. Millions of people visit the Vietnam Memorial every year. Who's even heard of the National AIDS Memorial Grove?